Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video will be about Bibles. To find the Bible section, go to the top bar and click on the Bible button, or use your keyboard shortcut of Control b Once inside the Bible section, you can go to Options, and then you can choose to install or remove a translation of the Bible, whether it's a free version or one that you have purchased. Then you can go to the Slide Options, you can decide whether or not to see the superscript verse number at the beginning of each verse. If you're going to break each verse based off of the verse, so a new verse per slide. If you're going to display the translation on each slide. Whether or not to keep the red lettering of the Bible or use your template colors. If you want the verse reference on each slide or the passage reference on each slide, or the passage reference only on the last slide, or no reference. You can select a theme, and then you can choose where to import a presentation of a scripture into which library. So you choose to import it into one of your libraries that you have created. Then you can go back into Bibles, and you can pick the translation that you want to currently use. You can decide what text box in your theme you would want the scripture text and what text box in your theme that you want the Bible reference. You can see your license information. And then in ProPresenter 7, we have the all new ability to add a second translation at the same time. So if we click the plus button, we can now have the ESV and the NIV at the same time. We just have to select where we'd want the scripture text to go in the theme and where would the scripture reference go. Now you can look up scripture by typing it out and you really only need the first three letters of a book of the Bible. Then you can go to the chapter and the verse and then it'll appear down here and see now that you have the NIV and the ESV at the same time. But most of the time we're just going to want one translation so we can just hit the minus button and now we just have one translation. Another way to look up a scripture would be to click the down arrow, pick the book of the Bible, the chapter, and the verse, and then it'll appear down here. You can also choose to search the Bible so we could search for the word love and hit return. And it'll give us all the times that the word love occurs in this translation. And we can jump to the chapter or to the verse. So if we just click on verse, it jumps to that. Then if we needed more of the passage, we could add the previous verse or the next verse. And we can continue to do that until we have as much as we need. We can also change the view of the scriptures and we can decide whether or not they are grouped or if they have a background color. We can choose the transition whether it's cut, dissolve, or another one of our transitions. And then finally to get scripture into a presentation there are a couple options. First you could right click on a slide or you could select multiple slides then right click and choose copy, then go back to show, select a presentation, right click on the slide and paste and it'll paste the scripture after that slide. Another way would be if you go back into the Bible section and go down to this drop down arrow and you could save a presentation of your scriptures and this will save it into the library that you selected in options. You could copy a selected to a selected presentation. So if I select the Brady presentation and then choose copy selected presentation, it will copy it and paste it at the end of that 
presentation. You can also save it to a playlist. So if I were to save it to a Thursday playlist, it's going to create it as its own presentation and it's also going to save it into the library that I chose under options. You can also choose to click on the scripture inside of the Bible section and it'll appear on your output. And then you can just clear it away by either clearing the slide or clearing all. I hope you found this video helpful and we look forward to learning with you in the next video.